Hey Cancer, what's up? Welcome to your reading. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. Now, in the past out here, you could be dealing with someone here who is juggling you with another person. Okay. Or this person here was just in two minds about what they want to do with you. Right now, this person here is definitely zoning on you. All right. A very masculine energy is what I'm getting here. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if you're a male or a female. The person that you're dealing with is holding on a lot of masculine energy right now. Okay. This person zoned in on you and it's like, I want you. I want no one else. I want you. I feel like this person wasn't making a choice all this while in the past year. Now they're making a choice and they do, they're okay facing the consequences, okay, of their choices. It's like they see things more clearly and they want a new beginning with you, with a lot of clarity and truth. How they see the connection or see you is that they're very confused right now, okay? Either because they feel you have too many options or they, they have too many options or I feel this person's just very confused, okay? They're daydreaming about you. There's a lot of wishful thinking. Castles are being made in the air. But there is no uh, concrete action being taken to achieve that, okay? Um, yeah, they're definitely missing you a lot, for sure. They're thinking about what is the right approach, is what I'm getting here, okay? They're thinking about it. They're not very sure yet. Because behind the scenes out here, I feel this person here is ready to give you something stable, secure, make you an offer, okay? For something long term out here probably even marriage or commitment out here your advice is to use your intuition guys use your intuition use your gut feeling what does it say what does your gut say you know don't be overpowered by emotions don't be overpowered by logic use your emotions okay use your gut what does your intuition tell you whatever it's telling you whatever the signs you're getting from the universe do that and i feel it's asking you to walk away right now at least temporarily all right let's clarify that's the sun in reverse. Hmm. You're releasing yourself from a person out here, okay? Because this person here is emotionally shut off. They're just not opening up. They're just not talking. They're not letting you know what they feel for you they're not letting letting you know if they love you they don't love you out here but they're you're just pulling away yeah you're just pulling away you you're the one who's disconnecting from them out here like i said you're the one who's losing hope out here you've been in your head for a very long time you were stuck on this person feeling restricted out here but it's like you know what now is the act now is the time to act that's what you're doing you're acting and you're just getting rid of this person could be someone here who's playing mind games with you okay or someone here who just loves you to the moon and back but they just won't open up you know because of trust issues maybe they have trust issues with you but you're like you know what i ain't got no time for this i'm not gonna wait for this forever uh let's see uh what is the current situation like in the forms here yeah so this person out here is obsessed with you all right. You're dealing with somebody who's very, very obsessed with you. They're addicted to you. They can't let you go. All right. Uh, they're feeling left out without you. You could have abandoned them. This person could have abandonment issues also. But someone out here, they feel very uh, stuck on you. They can't do anything about it. Okay. They try to probably walk away. Guess what? They failed. And uh, yeah. That's what they're doing. They're feeling left out without you and they're still watching you. Like, yeah, you can, you can, you can ask me to, you know, go to hell, but I can't, I can't do that. So they're still watching you right now. Like how the two swords in course. Okay. I feel this person that you're dealing with out here, right? They realize that you walked away from them, right? They probably even feel that now you're okay on your own. You're very self-sufficient, financially successful. <coughs> you're on your own. And they see the truth of it. I feel all this person, all this while, you're, the, the kind of person you're dealing with, this person thought you were a very codependent person. Codependent energy, clingy, needy, can't let them go, can't do without them. You, 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 you all the time, okay? Now this person here is coming off as, you know what, you're doing work without me, you know. 
that very single energy vibe is what you're giving this person and they even feel right now that you don't even care about them anymore they are not occupying that space in your head that they were say a few months back no more nightmares for you no more sleepless nights when it comes to this person and they know it and they see the reality of the situation now they want to make you an offer now they want to tell you that they love you genuinely caring for you but you're already gone <coughs> All right, clarify the sun. Yeah, this person here, uh, they want to reach out to you, okay? They want a new beginning with you because they couldn't move on. They tried, they couldn't move on, all right? They want to avoid a disaster. This person here knows that things happened between you both, shit happened, all right? And you both went your own ways. This person thought they were okay without you. They thought that you will be the one chasing them back. But guess who's the chaser now? They're so embarrassed to reach out to you. And seeing you in that light out here, oh, it's like, oh my God. Like, I had no idea the cancer would do it without me. The emotions are there, the passion's there, but the action, it's still a little delayed, okay? So there could be a delay here if an, of a new beginning here because I still feel this person here is too scared to reach out to you. They want a new beginning with you with clarity, but there's a little bit of resistance yet. <clears throat> This is how they want to move forward with you. Mm. So, uh, <clears throat> this person here is conflicted about should they let their guards down and give you the offer that you wanted and give you that commitment that you wanted out here or should you just hold back and the reason they're conflicted is because they're too scared they feel there's a lot going on behind the scenes they feel there's a lot going on that that is hidden from them they don't even know where you're coming from they don't know what you're doing they don't know what's on your mind they don't know how you're going to react it's a lot of unknown it's very foggy they're not in the right space of mind place of mind to make that decision right now all they can do is just you know like shoot in the air you know in the dark and hopefully it'll hit the target but they're not ready to take that risk yet you know, this is what they're conflicted about. They, they they want to let their guards down so that they can reach out to you. But it's like, I don't know what the reaction is going to be. I don't know if you're just going to slam the door on my face and say, get out. Okay. But honestly, deep down, they want to make you an offer and an offer that you've been waiting for with the King of Pentacles here. Okay. <clears throat> the ending has also affected them a lot. Okay. You probably ended things with them very badly or they ended things with you. And now it's like that embarrassment, like shit. What is Cancer going to think about me? You know, Cancer is doing so well on their own. They don't care. Cancer doesn't care about me anymore. I don't stress the shit out of Cancer anymore. Cancer is not staying up all night thinking about me. Because although this person disconnected with you, right? Right now, they're feeling left out. They walked away from you in the past, all right? But right now, it's like they, they know that in order for them to get towards you, okay? It's going to get in their full strength. They got to take action, okay? And which is what they're doing. They're being very practical, very logical, but they're using their full strength, okay? Inner strength, they're on full power to come towards you because they're addicted to you, right? They feel it's a very strong bond. They can't get over it. It's still bringing in toxicity, by the way. And you're on your own doing so well. Okay, let's see what's going on behind the scenes. There is an opportunity of a reconciliation here, all right? Uh, the problem here is that there is still that delay in action, like I told you, okay? This person here wants to rush in towards you, all right? A lot of passion out here. I don't like the way they're approaching you out here, but uh, the thing is that deep down, they would want something stable connected with you, stable committed with you. They want something long-term with you, which I, again, I'm repeating myself for. But the problem here is there could be a delay, because even though the reconciliation is on this person's mind, you know, it's like they would, they would have wanted to get things done yesterday. The action is delayed, okay? Maybe they're not motivated enough or maybe they're too focused on other things, okay? And they'll come back around to work things out with you. <coughs> Lack of drive out here, you know, to push this to make it happen. All right, your intuition, you need to trust that. Care for the high priestess. Stay silent for now. Try for the high priestess.
Yeah. You need to focus on your work, your career, your goals. Okay. Keep building you. Focus on yourself. Right now is not the right time. Okay. To be. Uh, right now is not a good time to be in your relationship. You need to focus on yourself. Okay. You need to see what your needs are, what your requirements are, and if this person here is not fulfilling them, pull away. Not the right time to take action. Okay. So hold back. Hold back. Because this could be a connection where you're either using, you're losing romance and you're losing the passion out here or they are. One of you is. But right now, it's it's like a big no. Don't move forward. Hold back. Okay. Hold back. And stay closed off right now. Trust your intuition. What it's asking you to say. What it's asking you to do out here. Alright. Your outcome here is the Eight of Cups. Here. Like I said, someone's disconnecting. I feel it's you. Let's see. What's the Eight of Cups? So there is a relationship here, okay? Although things are very, very strong. So you love them, they love you. It's a given, okay? But because things are too delayed, because, because things are taking too much time, okay? It's too slow out here. And like I said, don't rush things. The advice out here is hold back. Don't try to be hasty. Don't be impulsive out here. But this is you being you. So you're just going to like, you know what? Screw it. It's taking too long out here. I want a reconciliation now. It's not happening right now. It's going to be delayed. You need to stay cool, calm, collected and patient in a slow moving situation. All right. That's what's demanded of you. Whether you want it or not, it's still going to move slow. Now, whether you do it patiently or whether you do it frustrating, okay, in a frustrating way, it's going to be up to you. This is the temperance out here with a major arcana. This is not in your control. Okay. And maybe it is what is best for you right now to walk away, okay? It is divine timing out here. So till the timing isn't right out here, you are walking away. Although you have love for this person out here, you're just going to choose to either go ahead and invest into another relationship or you're just going to choose choose yourself. Even though you love this person out here, but it's like, you know what? I'm just going to stay closed off right now, okay? Because let the divine timing decide and let the universe decide if uh, it's going to be the right person for me or if this is going to be the right relationship for me, okay? So that's what I have for you. Bye-bye.